I mean, it looks like a hell of a one. The other one in your area is a core unit, and it looks like they're on a call. D11 units. Officer Sockman, I'm with the New Mexico State Police, okay? Do you know the reason why I pulled you over? Was I going a little fast? You were going a lot fast. Sorry. And then you were came right up on me, too, behind me. Oh. Did you not remember me flashing you with my lights? I didn't see you. So you're doing about 90 on the freeway to 65. I'm sorry. Okay. Any alcohol or drugs this evening? No. When's the last time you had something to drink? Yesterday. What time yesterday? Mm, like in the evening. In the evening? What time? Swift concert in Denver with my family. Okay, where are you coming from this evening? Um, yeah, I just got done um, seeing them. We went to Meowith. You went to Meowith from Denver? Mm -hmm. So you're coming from Denver? Yeah. Um, you saw you saw Taylor Swift in Denver? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what were you doing at Meowith? Um, well, it was a family trip. We went to Denver. We went to Family World, um, Waterworld. And then we went to Taylor Swift, and then uh, we went to um, Memphis, and then today, like we got an Airbnb together, and then today we. So where are you coming from right now? Um, Denver. I live in Albuquerque. Okay. Um, I'm going um, to Sierra is where I live. Okay. Why Why did it take you so long to to stop the view or pull over? Um, I never been pulled over before, so. I, Uh -huh. And then I didn't know, like... I think I mean, just yoga is out of my school now. It's like he is suspended. You what? I didn't know. It's like, I've never been pulled only. over before. Okay. So, um... So how are you coming from Meow Wolf if you're coming from Denver? Um, there's a Meow Wolf in Denver. Is there? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have your license, registration, and insurance? Is your radio secure? for no uh, flag for violent tendencies, don't use drugs. Looks like he has multiple warrants out for his arrest. Why are you going so fast? Jeff, I'll get you assistance from going to go. I'm sorry, Huh? I'm sorry. Why were you going so fast? Um, I guess I was just kind of and then the town kind of came on faster than I thought it was. The what? The town, like Albuquerque. Uh huh. Like, oh, we've been in Albuquerque for quite some time, and you sped up past me. I'm sorry. Okay. Five seventeen, direct. Do you have insurance? Yeah, I'm driving for reading. Do you use any narcotics? You smoke marijuana? Have you been, how long have you been driving? Um, I guess that drive is like an hour, so I was, I didn't think about stopping in Trinidad before. I'm sorry, man. Can I see your registration? Oh. This is, this one's expired, let me see this one. What is that right there? Oh, this is my initials list. Hold on to this. Go ahead, do what you're doing. Who drinks Angry Orchard? Huh? Who drinks Angry Orchard? My boyfriend. What, what would be the reason there's an Angry Orchard in the back? Um, my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Um, it's a good Okay. Sorry, I can't hear them, but I gotta pay attention to them and you and there's traffic, there so that's why it's kind of loud, there. okay? Go ahead and finish what you're looking for. Oh, I think that's a couple feet from me, I don't know what's going on with it. 
I'm here doing You don't have insurance? Oh, okay. I just uh, they mailed it to me and then it went mm -hmm. the fridge. I never got it. Okay. Do me a do me a favor. I have the app. If if you can pull it up on your phone, but for now, uh go ahead and do that for me, okay? I'm going to the verbal and I'm route to 227. Just yes, Five, please. 167. Just yes, What time did you leave Denver? Um, I think it was like 3 o'clock. Or no, that's fly. It was like 5. Not 5? Yeah. What time did you say you you guys were drinking yesterday? Um, it was like in the evening. Then nothing since then? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, go ahead and what you gotta do. Sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to start with you. You what? I didn't mean to start with you. It's okay. Well, you gotta understand why I pulled you over. Okay, do me a favor for now. What I'm gonna do, um, shut off your vehicle for me. I'm gonna have you step out, okay? You can hold on to this. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle. No, don't be drinking anything. I didn't tell you drink. Just step step out of the car. You can walk towards me. I'm gonna have you wait right here. I'm gonna move my car back a little bit, okay? Do you went through some series of tests, okay, to make sure that you're okay to drive. If you're okay to drive, you can be on your way. If not, we'll we'll discuss that from there. Does that sound okay? Okay. be just nerves huh? if, if nothing's going on there's no reason to be nervous right I've been completely respectful to you everything of that nature so there's no re reason to be scared mm -hmm. believe me I know how it's how it is pretty scary I seem pretty scary yeah but I guess I never been home so. okay hang tight right there what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you stand there right on top of my light so basically where that little black thing is on this? yeah that's fine you can stand there Stand facing towards me, okay? Okay. You want to test start? I'm not ready. I'll I'll describe. I'll tell you when. You can put your hair up though. So I notice you're wearing glasses, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to take your glasses and put them on top of your head. Or would you like to set them on the hood of my car? I need them to see if it's okay. Okay. Um, do you have anything, any medical conditions such as uh, brain injuries or anything that would prevent you from walking, standing, turning? No. And you said you you said you have a hard time seeing or I mean, yeah I have to okay so I'll keep, I'll take that into consideration okay? so what I want you to do is I want you to stand with your feet together uh, never, I never mean, yeah. heal the toe like that and you're gonna keep your hands down to the side okay okay so what I'm gonna have you do is uh, you're gonna follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your uh, eyes only okay can you see that tip of my finger yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for this next test, I'm gonna have you face the back of your car. So you're gonna stand like this. Okay. Like closer? Or? No, stay right there. Okay. okay. So can you imagine an imaginary line going from the tip of your left foot straight towards your car? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so I want you to put your left foot on that line. Okay, okay. I'm drawing the line. Yes, you can you imagine that straight line? You want it to be straight? Yes, it has to be straight. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't say to do anything yet. So you're gonna place your left foot on that line, okay? You are then gonna place your right foot in front of your left heel to toe. 
Okay, hold on. I didn't say start yet. Follow my directions, okay? So again, you're going to put your right foot in front of your left foot, heel to toe. And you're going to stand like that and you're going to keep your hands down your side, okay? Until I tell you to do so. Okay? You want me to stop? Okay, so what I said is you're going to stay like this. What this is called is the instructional phase, okay? You're going to stay like this until I give you instructions to do something else. Okay? So you're, you're going to stand like that, hands down your side, okay? All right, so for this test, again, nothing that's preventing you from walking, turning, or standing? No? Okay. So what you're going to do, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps on that imaginary line, okay? Once you get to your ninth steps, go ahead and get back in that starting position. Once you take your ten steps, you're going to take uh, your... You're going to take that... Go ahead and stand in the instructional face. Put your hands to your side. Remember how I told you? Right foot in front of your left, hands down to your side. Go ahead and stand like that now. Okay. okay. So I'm going to demonstrate it to you so it's a little more clear, okay? You're going to start like this and you're going to count out loud while looking at your feet. One, two, three. I'm going to take three steps for demonstrational purposes, okay? On your tenth step, or your ninth step, excuse me, on your ninth step, you're going to take your foot that's in the back and you're going to take a series of small steps to turn around in a circle, okay? On my fourth one or my ninth? Ninth. Okay. okay, I'm only doing three for demonstrational purposes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so then you're going to turn around and take nine heel to toe steps back. So it's nine, not ten. You want me, okay, just to clarify. You want me to do nine heel toes there and then do the turn around and then uh -huh. we come back? Yeah, you're going to do nine heel toe steps. So I'm going to demonstrate it again so you understand, okay? So you're going to start in the starting position. One, two, three. I took three. You're going to take how many? Nine. Okay. So when you reach your ninth step, you're going to take your the leg, the foot that's in the back. You're going to take a series of small steps in a circle. And then you're going to take nine heel to toe steps back on that imaginary line. One, two, three. I'm gonna, I took three. You're going to take how many? Nine. Nine? Okay. I'm going to come back to you. Correct. Okay. 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 So do you have any questions? I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. All right. Hold on. If you're ready, you may begin. The only one in your area is a core unit. It looks like they're on a call. D11 units are all down south. According to the cat. Are you done? Yeah, let me do it. I'll call their center and see if we can break them, but you can't respond to from Sierra County. You're done now? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and stand back over there where that black can is, okay? Okay, so for this next test, nothing that, like I said, for that's going to prevent you from balancing. No brain injuries or anything. I know I asked you yeah. for this next test. For what? I'll explain it to you. Okay. okay. So you're going to pick the foot of your choice. I don't care which one. It could be your right or your left. You're going to stand with your hands to your side, okay? Go ahead and do that now. All right, so I'm going to choose my left. Again, you can choose your left or your right. doesn't matter. What you're going to do is you're going to lift that foot approximately six inches off the ground, parallel to the ground. So you know about the size of... Hold on. Hold on. Put your foot down. Put your foot down. I will explain to you, okay? So do you know about the size of a soda can? That's, okay. So that's about how high you're going to lift your foot off the ground. You're going to keep your legs straight. This one and this one, you're going to count down uh, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. As you're looking at your toe with your legs straight, okay? Do you understand? Yeah. What did I, so, what did I tell you to do? Um, you said to extend my leg like this and to count to 1,000 until you say otherwise. Okay. Go ahead and wait and I'll tell you when to begin, okay? You may begin. One thousand, two thousand, 
Towards the front of my unit. Right here, right here. Where are you going? Right, right here. Go ahead and face my car. Let me see. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. You are under the arrest for DWI, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna ask you a few more questions, okay? Make sure that's not too Turn towards me. No. Huh? Warned you what? I told you we were gonna do these tests, right? Go ahead and turn towards me. Okay. Is your phone and everything in your car? Yeah. Okay. Let's walk this way for me. What does what mean? I never. that to you. Go ahead and walk this way for me, okay? That's okay. Relax. You're going to be okay. Go this way. Come on. Let's go this way. Okay, you're going to stop right here. You have nothing in your pockets that are going to hurt me, stick me, poke me? No? Go ahead and spread your feet. Go ahead and... Wait, can I call somebody? I'll let, we'll let you call somebody. Come over here real quick. I've got to unlock my car. Don't face me. Face my car. It's okay. Because you might actually feel emotion. What? Who? You. I feel enough emotion. None. How do I feel none? I'm going to step this way. I'm going to have you have a seat real quick, okay? Go ahead and have a seat. Go ahead and have a seat. So you're going to turn. There you go. And then lift your, use your legs to lift yourself up in there. Okay. okay, are you paying attention to me? Yes. Yes, can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Listen to me. I'm about to tell you something important. You are, in, uh, you are under the arrest for DWI. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breast test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or a laboratory technician, pay attention to me, okay? Or technologist who is employed by a hospital or a physician of your own choice to, per to perform an additional test, okay? Do you need me to read that again? Yeah, you're saying yeah. I have an option of like where to get tests from? So I'm, I'm gonna start over, okay? Listen to me, I'm about to tell you something important. You are under the arrest for DWI, okay? The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this, hold on, listen. If you take to this, if you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or a laboratory technician, or technologist who is employed by a hospital or a physician of your own choice to perform the additional independent chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid by the law enforcement agency, being state police. Do you agree to take our test? I cannot. The test is free. I'll tell you your consequences if you want to take a breath test. Is it free? And we have to do it at the office. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna read you your, the consequences if you if you choose to refuse. Okay. Okay. I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. If you are convicted in court of driving under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refused to be tested. Do you understand? Basically, if I don't do it, I can't have a driver's license for you? Correct. Do you understand? Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, do you now agree to be tested? At, like, where? I'm going to take you to our, our office. You're going to go conduct the test, and then we'll go from there, okay? So do you agree to be tested? To take a breath test? Thank you. Sure? Okay. Do me a favor. Go ahead and uh, spit out your gum for me. That's fine. I'll get it. Go ahead and open your mouth. Ah. Uh, underneath your tongue. Okay. Hang out, okay? So I know you wanted to take your phone. You can't take your purse, but I can grab a wallet. Do you have a wallet in there? Yeah, can I? My family's expecting me. Can I call them and tell them um, that yeah. Yeah, we'll get we'll get a get you a phone call here in a little bit, okay? So I'll grab I'm gonna grab your wallet and your cell phone, okay? Is my car gonna be here? Your car is gonna be towed, okay? Oh, I have two wallets. You have two wallets. Which one do you want? Um, you can choose one. The one with my driver's license. Okay, I have your driver's license. So which color is the one that you want to take? No, you, you can't. What what does the wallet look like? Um, can you just grab the clear bag? Can you grab the clear so bag? So you, you can take a wallet and your phone. Which wallet would you like to take? The one with my debit card. Okay. What did you need to get? I didn't agree to have my vehicle searched. So we're doing a search inventory to make sure that there's no valuable items in there. That there way... No valuable items in there. Okay, so that is going to be documented. That's why we do the search, okay? To make sure that your items are documented in case something goes missing, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead and sit back for me. As hard as you can. Keep going, keep going, keep going. A little bit more. Okay, stop. So don't stop when you're blowing. Just as hard as you can, and then I'll tell you to stop. Okay? Go ahead. Keep going, keep going. Almost there. A little bit more. Keep pushing. Okay. Stop. So blow as hard as you can. I am. Right. The machine says otherwise. Oh. Well, ask the man. <laughs> okay. okay. There you go. Keep going, keep going. Alright, stop. It's still low. Right here, to your left. Oh, wait, wait, what's the purpose of that room? That's where you're gonna stay until I'm done with my paperwork. Okay. It's just a holding cell. You're not gonna stay in here for days. Can you can chair? choose which bench you would like to sit on. <laughs> Which bench would you like to sit at? <laughs> I know it's a, you have an option. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm dreaming right now. I think it's a special, special bench. Okay. 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 Okay.